私は私はソニーセミコンダクターソリューションズコーポレーションソニーセミコンダクターソリューションズコーポレーションセーフティーエンセキュリティーオブモビリティーダリスデフューチャーウィアワーキングトゥコントリビュート Alongside sensing devices like cameras and millimeter wave radar, LIDAR is gaining importance as we work to make autonomous driving a reality. LIDAR systems emit light and detect the light when it is reflected back by the object. This helps to assess traffic conditions and identify the locations and shapes of objects such as vehicles and pedestrians. Key devices in LiDAR systems include the light source and the sensor that act like the human eyes. These sensors require centimeter level accuracy to detect objects from within a few centimeters of the vehicle to 100 meters or more. To detect light returning from afar, they must capture low levels of light energy. Light behaves both as a wave and as a particle called a photon. Today, we will focus on the photon to explain how Sony's SPAT depth sensor is helping advance LiDAR detection and recognition. Now, Mr. Akatsuka, my colleague, will explain how it works. Hello. I also develop SPAT depth sensors at Sony Semiconductor Solutions Corporation. SPAT depth sensors have three main elements. SPAT pixels capture light and convert it into electrical signals. Kappa Kappa connections communicate those signals. And logic chips contain circuits that derive distance measurement from the signals. First, let's look at light detection and conversion. CMOS image sensors also use electrical signals, which are electrons converted from photons. But the signal, equivalent to a single photon, can be overwhelmed by circuit noise, making it tough to detect each photon. With SPAT depth sensors, photons captured by SPAT pixels are converted into electrons. Then each is multiplied like an avalanche to create a strong electrical signal. This makes it possible to detect the low level light energy of a single photon. Next, let's look at signal communication. Sony's SPAT depth sensor features a stacked structure with pixel chip on top and logic chip with distance measuring processing circuits below. This keeps the structure compact while boosting signal processing. Further, copper copper connection enables vertical connections to be made to every pixel, enhancing response times. Finally, distance measuring. The distance to an object is measured by sensing the time taken for light emitted from the light source to reflect back from the object. This series of processes is handled by a single chip. Our stack structure not only reduces chip size, but also enables high precision, high speed measuring from close to long range with a 15 centimeter range. Now, please watch this demonstration video of LiDAR working with Sony's SPAT depth sensors. We took images of Tokyo Station, Shibuya, and the expressway. These images were taken while driving near Tokyo Station. The LiDAR viewpoint is adjustable. In Shibuya, the image is so precise and clear that you can see the people in details. The system is detecting objects over 200 meters away and capturing every moment, even when moving at high speeds. Since the 2000s, Sony has driven image sensor performance higher via back illuminated stack structure and copper copper connections. To this array of technologies, we have added distance measuring technology to create a high sensitivity SPAT depth sensor to help enable autonomous driving. We will work on further advancing the performance of our SPAT depth sensors as a key automotive technology at Sony. We are also considering integrating AI to create intelligent sensors. 
In addition to autonomous driving, we expect our technology to be used in various applications such as autonomous industrial machinery and drones. Thank you for your time.